are you? Good to see you. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Doc, thanks. Appreciate it. Lisa, you got your cards? I got mine. All right. Brandon, how are you? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Thank you. Good to have it, pal. And Dr. Tompkins, how are you doing? Fine, thank you, sir. Well, good. Well, look, uh, let me get started here. I want to say good afternoon, everyone. This is the week I signed in law the bipartisan government funding bill demonstrating again that the American people, uh, that uh, Democrats and Republicans and independents can come together and do some big things. This bill includes something I've believed in for a long, long time. ARPA-H, an Advanced Research Project Agency for Health, is based, as Dr. Tompkins knows, is based on the Defense Department's Advanced Research Project Agency that has led for break led breakthroughs and technology to protect our security, everything from the internet to GPS and so much more. ARPA-H will have a singular purpose, to drive breakthroughs in biomedicine to prevent, detect, and treat diseases, including cancer, Alzheimer's, and diabetes. And I want to thank the bipartisan members of the House and Senate who are working so hard to get this done. Senator Patrick Leahy, Pat, Patty Murphy, Roy Blunt, Richard Burr, Representatives, uh, 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 Representatives Anna Eshoo, and Rosa DeLaura, Frank Pallone, Diane DeGette, uh, Fred Upton. Like DARPA, ARPA-H will pursue ideas that break the mold on how we normally support fundamental research and commercial products in this country. Ideas so bold, no one else, not even the private sector, is willing to, 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 to give them a chance or to uh, uh, sink a lot of money into trying to solve. Ideas so audacious that people say they just might work only if, only if we could try. Well, we're about to try in a big way. And that's what this meeting is about, because ARPA-H is modeled after DARPA. And I've asked the DARPA director, Stephanie Tompkins, uh, to speak about the promise of ARPA-H. In fact, we're going to hear from a patient who benefited from DARPA research and enabled him to use a prosthetic arm that moves, but also provides a sense of touch, which he couldn't do before or we couldn't do before. Imagine losing your arm in a war or an accident and regaining the ability to feel to actually feel what it's like to hold the hand of a spouse or a child. It's remarkable. We'll also hear from Dr. L uh, I'm going to mispronounce, uh, well, just Do Dr. Nelson, uh, <laughs> who leads the White House uh, Office on Science and Technology, and my science advisor, Dr. Francis Collins, to talk about how to ensure ARPA-H's uh, harnesses the powers and possibilities of science and technology to benefit all of America, to focus on equity because every American should have access to cutting-edge health care and innovations, and to make it impossible, make the impossible possible. And you've heard me say over and over again, America can be defined by a single word, possibilities. I'm going to stop there so we can get this meeting started, and then I'm going to turn to Dr. Nelson. So. Uh, let me uh, begin. Dr. Nelson. Mr. President, 